how low he is already. He may have to use him the cell already, and that means he only has one single tango left. Whereas Yoku, he has his own tango, he has a cell, he has a shrine heal available still, so this mid lane is going wrong very quickly. Top lane, the Ursa's free farming. Makes sense, there's no one here, so there's no one to stop him from farming. The Ursa Spirit does get spotted out by Kefka on this channel, and he does get punished and killed all the time, but like in the middle of a fight, you can just take one of the creeps away from the Chen. Which is, you know, BM, annoying, but uh, it's possible. No fear gets spotted out by the Rubik as well. So Chen, he may be dropping down a second time here now. As they go in, they laze him a little bit with the creeps. He doesn't manage to even bring down this help as smash as it, as it will barely survive. And that is going to take in the mid lane. Hmm. This is a sort of struggling game for Mr. Penguin. Double race comes out. Yoku very close to killing him. He didn't have the third race available, but he goes for the third race, gets the kill. As the right click plus the edge of that race was enough to bring down Penguin. So Yoku, he definitely sets himself good in this mid lane. 30 souls on him. He has 31 lasses, 10 denies. Actually doubling the lasses of the Magnus at the moment. And even getting a solo kill bottom lane. They do lose the Luna as well inside of DD. So this is not a good start. They lose their carry. Be available by Penguin now. And bottom lane, there's three heroes down here from the side of friends. That's CM. And the Earth Spirit are making a lot of moves on the map. The CM is level 5 as well. 14 lasses on him. As he's been spending a lot of time just, you know, lasting in the jungle. There was no need for him in the top lane. So he managed to get a lot of free farm because of that. And it continues. He's getting as much farm as he possibly wants to. The Vendetta is available on the next assassin now as well. Courtesy of being level 6. The Luna may be a little bit in trouble. They go in on him. They want to get the first jump. Angel is going to be rooted. He's going to be set up. He's going to be killed a second time as that is two deaths in a couple of minutes from the Luna. The Shadow Fiend does get killed in the mid lane in the meantime. The Luna, I'm not sure what happened. He was in the top lane, suddenly made a TP rotation up here, thinking that this was a safe place to farm, but no, it's not. It's really not. Tries to get a jump on the Luna. He does have an Eclipse available. He may go for it. The Nyx Assassin is causing issues, though. If you go for an Eclipse on top of a Nyx, he will still, even though they're playing against a Chen, you would imagine the Chen lineup is the one taking the first tier 2 tower, but that is not happening. The Magnus in the mid lane gets taken down as well as they get another raises, and Penguin is dead, as that is the reveal of the Shadow Blade from the Shadow Fiend. And he gets a little solo pick off on the Magnus. The Roshan drops down to Bignum. As about time the Ursa goes in and finishes that up. Let's see in the bottom lane. Fate of Malice comes out on the next assassin. They have the control and they should be able to bring him down. Put down a couple of sentries just to make sure everything is fine. In the meantime, they TP everyone back as they want to go in. And Yoku, he's hasted up. He's moving up to the top lane with that shadow, but he doesn't have his rec room available. But the next assassin is trying to set up for a kill on the Luna. They find him, they initiate, they get a double race off, and Yoku gets the last hit on the Luna. What they want, no RP gaming, and that is potentially a dead Magnus. He wants to get the RP off, but it doesn't happen. He dies before the stun ends. Eclipse comes out from the sideline on Angel, he gets a kill on the Nyx Assassin, they may be able to bring down multiple people, that Pit of Malice is controlling the Ursus so goddamn well, he will lose his Aegis, they took down the Ursus Spirit as well, let's see the second time, Bignum gets a blink away before he gets hit by the Firestorm, he's going to survive for the moment, Lower Dance goes for a little ultimate on the high ground, brings down the Rubik, so, so far, it is a 2 for 2, and the Aegis was lost on friends, so it's not that bad, but it's still a good fight for the side of DD. Something else. Let's see what else. Penguin has his blink completed. Not the most amount of farm on a Magnus in the world, but he's trying his best. Luna gets jumped on in the meantime. He maybe take it down instantly. And yeah, Bigdom goes in, gets a PKB off, gets a kill on the Luna instantly. They may be able to salvage something. Penguin. Ah, peace. Skewers away the Shadow Fiend, but he will be taken down a second time as that is three dead on the side of DD. Them. He does have that blink available. Let's see if they can get a blink jump. The Rubik gets spotted out. That is going to be a well, maybe not the kill they want, but it is at least a kill. The Rubik gets jumped by our flat in the meantime. Ursa goes in, gets a jump with the Luna. The Luna barely escape. Well, doesn't escape. They almost got a kill on the CM with the Eclipse, but almost is not, not good enough. The Magnus gets taken down as well after losing it after using his RP. And they may lose E skill here as well. Frostbite comes out by a lower dance, and he is going to draw down as a third. All three calls. They may try and get another kill on the Magnus in the mid lane here. They could try. I mean, Glimmer K plus Silvage could do some work, but Yoki will show himself. He will just raise the creep wave. No worries there. And in the meantime, in the top lane, they find the Chen. The Nyx Assassin and the Earth Spirit will be able to bring him down. 
The Nyx Assassin does see Penguin Sec in the jungle, trying to finish a little bit of farm. He's trying to go for Shadow Blade next. Half-Life goes in, gets a Spike Carapace done on him because of the cleave. And the Magnus ends up dropping down as, oh my god, Invis Spike Carapace affecting with, affected by the cleave. That's just dirty. And the Magnus in the mid lane. It's an okay siege, like it's okay for fighting purposes, but the most important thing about Axe is when you're defending, so since they're not defending, you might as well go for some other items, unless he's running to the Rubik. Maybe not the target they were hoping for, but they might find another one as Kefka gets jumped. He tries to TP out, but he knows he has to walk the road back to his base. Not going to be happening though, as that is a double kill to Mr. Big Nam on the Ursa. Two down on the side of double that, oh, yeah, what? I don't even know, that's just DD. I keep thinking it's double dimension, but that's another team. So this is just DD. Alright, oh, they jump into the Firestorm. Monday Lord is going to be stunned up by the Spike Carapace from the Nyx, and he will be taken down double. Buyback comes up from the side of DD. Earth Spirit, maybe a little bit too deep, my friend, as he will be killed on the side of friends. They will go for the tier 3 tower. First Eclipse, he gets a kill on the Earth Spirit. He may drop down the. Oh, they didn't get the kill. They didn't do quite enough damage on the Luna, and he will get away. In the meantime, though, friends, they have bigger plans. They don't have any vision here, I believe, but. If they just, you know, move in, try and get a jump here, try and get a quick kill before they go for the buildings, that is the plan. Oh, and they might go for more, the Underlord gets taken down, that's a kill that they could easily grab. Big Nam even popped his BKB just for safety. And now they go to the bottom lane, they want to take down this last set of frags, Buyback comes out from the Underlord, Penguin does have his RP available, can he get a good one off? He goes in, he gets RP on the two people, he tries to bring them back, Eclipse comes out, but here comes off life, he gets a nice initiation off. Magnus drops down, the Rubik dies as well, and the Eclipse doesn't do near enough as the CM was the only casualty. The Luna will drop down, buys back immediately as well, that is the last buyback on South DD they have available. The Underlord, who oh, barely survives, he got sent back to the base just in time. The Shadow Fiend is dropping down a little bit low, Penguin Sega does drop down the second time, as that is the Aegis from the Shadow Fiend, but just an Aegis is not enough. As he comes back with a second life, the Luna gets forced off the way, they try and control him, but he gets axed up by the Earth, but he gets kicked back in to the pits of friends and they will bring him down gg gets called as dd they will lose game two as friends they step it up and they show who is the boss in this game as that is a 45 000